Thank you, Linda. Um, you can understand why our charity is so successful in terms of um, raising money for widows when we have people like Linda that are out proselytizing and spreading the word as to the good work that we do. Um, and um, Linda, you know, I'm eternally grateful for, um, for you and um, all that you do for our organization. I feel the same way about Esther and um, the PBI. You need folks that are out there selling the mission all the time. Please give a big round of applause to people like Linda and Esther for the work that they do for these organizations. And before I start, um, everything at Wild Gotchel is a team effort. But a long time ago, um, I said to Steve Reese, I think you're the right person to lead the effort um, on the pro bono front. And he agreed to do so. He's a very talented man. And one thing he said to me, I'd like to hire one of the best in the city, and he did, in Miriam Buell. These folks have done a great job. It's about them. Give them a round of applause. Obviously, I'd also like to thank Wilmer Hale and the Pickering family for this great honor. Um, you know, we're so proud to accept it. Um, we think we do a good job on the pro bono front. We can always do better, but um, we are very honored. And um, I think that um, Mr. Pickering was a man who led by example, and he was so passionate about pro bono. I remember being one of, at one of the early PBI meetings with Esther, and talking about Wilmer Hale and Pickering, and um, um, I think that um, that inspired me. So um, we're very pri privileged to um, to receive this award tonight. Now, you heard Linda talk about 9/11, so obviously I'm going to get into that a little bit. Um, I I'm trying to to let you know um, that at Wallagachel we do take very seriously our professional obligations to the community and to pro bono work. When an event like 9-11 transpires, it's relatively easy to see the need in the community for our help. Seven years ago, there were thousands of people around the city, particularly the families of our police and fire officers, who required massive and immediate assistance. Generally speaking, when presented with a catastrophe of those proportions, the problem is rarely um, lacking in goodwill, but rather one that needs organization and leadership. And I'm proud that our firm was able to rally and mobilize the thousands of people who contributed skill, resources, and money toward helping the widows and families of our fallen heroes. And as Linda alluded to, the Benefit Fund has continued to provide assistance to the widows and children in the years following 9-11, just as we had in the 16 years prior to 9-11, and our firm continues pro bono um, support on every level, staff, partner, associate, um, on a continuous basis. The Benefit Fund recently revamped its outreach efforts with Linda's help, both here in the city and around the country. We realize that over time, as the awfulness, awfulness of that day recedes in our memories, there's a tendency to forget uh, the need that 9-11 created in our community. Sometimes there's an out-of-sight, out-of-mind dynamic that we have to contend with. But the plight of the widows and their families aren't the only worthy causes here in New York City um, that um, uh, receive less attention than perhaps they deserve. There are thousands of New Yorkers who require assistance, financial, legal, and otherwise, because of the ongoing and deepening economic crisis that we're experiencing right now. This includes micro-entrepreneurs who struggle with financing in a tough economic environment. This includes middle and lower income homeowners who are threatened with foreclosure. This includes working mothers and fathers who must provide health care for their children after losing their jobs. And this includes veterans who've recently returned home from a foreign war only to find a contracting workplace. In many of these instances, the role of pro bono legal services can be decisive 
in getting men and women back on their feet and able to provide for themselves and their families. At Walgachel, we see the real world difference our pro bono services make every day in this regard. Whether it be working with lower income tenants and homeowners to avoid eviction or foreclosure, or representing veterans who struggle to receive the assistance pledged to them by our government. Services uh, like these seem so small in the context of a financial crisis where hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars are at stake. But these representations really do make an enormous difference in the lives of our pro bono clients. Some folks have compared this recent financial crisis effects with that of 9-11. I'm not comfortable making such comparisons for myriad reasons, but this much is certain. The hardship and suffering associated with this recent crisis is very real, and it's growing. When 9-11 occurred, our community's confidence and sense of security was absolutely shaken. To many, it seemed like the world was ending and the economic damage across several industries, from real estate to banking to restaurants and entertainment, took years to overcome. This financial crisis has the potential to wreak as much havoc on our security and our economy as 9-11 did. And again, many New Yorkers are already feeling the pain and dislocation of a slumping economy. When viewed from that perspective, it's clear that the New York legal community will need to rally once more, just as we did in the aftermath of 9-11. It's my hope uh, that as it becomes clear how deep and damaging this crisis is, we will see New York's legal community answer the bell and mobilize itself to provide the help so desperately needed by our neighbors and fellow citizens. And once again, I want to give an earnest thank you to the Pro Bono Institute for this wonderful award. Um, I really do look forward to sharing it with all of my partners, uh, my colleagues at Wild Gotchel. And I'm telling you, that's the essence of the teamwork that we've established. From the top to the bottom, the partners, the council, the associates, the staff, they really believe in this mission. They really do believe that we have an obligation to give back to the communities in which we operate. And I do believe that the clients that we service feel exactly the same way, and that is something that um, will propel us forward as we go through these tough times. Thank you very much.